All right, this morning we're going to do a really quick debugging video. And it's important to pay attention to the logic behind this because every situation is going to be a little bit different, but the overall logic is the same. So what happens when you receive the error in .NET, whether it's C Sharp or VB.NET, cannot access a disposed object? <clears throat> okay, so let's kind of look at how this works. So we have a class here, or not a class, I'm sorry. We have an object here called Form1, and we're creating a new Form1. So this is going to create a new form. And when the person clicks a link right here, form is going to show up, okay? It's going to appear. Now on this form, we have, <clears throat> the person's gonna do a lot of different things. At the end of the form, let me put this just here in comments, end of the form, when the person's done, they put the button, all the data been submitted, it's going to close out the form. Now note, the object F form is disposed. Okay, so when we close, this is now disposed, and, and this is where we'll get the error. So if we run our program, we click on the button that shows F form, it'll load F form, we hit submit, it closes out, it goes back to the original form. Then we click on it again to load it, and we'll get this error, cannot access a disposed object. Okay, so what is the fix for that? Or, again, if you have a similar error where you're seeing that the object has been disposed, what it means in C Sharp, VB.NET, .NET language in general is that the property of that object is disposed. So it is a disposed object. So what do we need to do? Recreate the object, reinitiate the object, right? If it's been disposed. So this is an example. Now again, the code looks the same. If you look at, at this code, it looks very similar. The difference is when the person's going to click on the link, it's gonna first of all check is the property of F form disposed? If it is, basically, if it's true, what are we doing? We're initiating it again, right? We're recreating it, whatever term you want to use, right? If not, I mean, we and we don't even need an else here, um, it's just going to go ahead and show. So, right, I mean, if the property is false, it's still going to show. Regardless of whether it's true or false, it's going to show. The difference here is that we can continue accessing the form over and over and over and over and over again. We can close it out and then reaccess it, close it out and reaccess it. So again, if you're getting this error, whatever object you're getting the error on, you'll want to look at the property is disposed, true, and create an if statement, something that checks that, and then recreate, reinitiate the object.